Hello my little willies. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to enage the slipped honeycomb stitch. This is an easier version of the traditional honeycomb stitch. You just need to net, purl and slip one stitch from time to time and it has a great texture to it. Very spongy, beautiful, great for knitting cowls, sweaters, blankies, hats, I'm sure you're gonna like it, so let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 4 plus 3 plus 2 salvage stitches. For example, 4 times 3, 12, plus 3, 15, plus 2, 17 stitches. This is an 8 row repeat stitch. So first row, we start, this is the right side of the work, we start with net 1, so the first and the last stitch are the selvage stitches and we're going to net them on every row. Remember, you have the written instructions below this video, there is a link for you to my website so willy.net with the written pattern and pictures. So after the selvage stitch, the repeat is net three, slip one stitch purlwise with yarn back. That's it. Let's do it again. Net three. Slip one stitch purlwise with yarn back. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only four stitches left. And end the row with net three. Net one, the salvage stitch. Only on this first row, I like to net this last stitch through the back loop so we don't get a huge loop there. Second row, net one, and now comes the repeat. Purl three, slip one stitch, purlwise, with yarn in front. There is your working yarn in front of the work and repeat purl three slip one stitch purlwise this is the same stitch that we slipped on the previous row keep repeating until there are only four stitches left and end the row with purl three Net one, the salvage stitch. Row three. Net one, and now comes the repeat. Really easy. Purl one. Net one. And repeat. Purl one. Net one. Four one, net one. Keep repeating until there are only two stitches left and end the row with four one, net one. Row four. Net one and purl across the, the row. That means purl every stitch. When there is only one stitch left, net one. 
row five. Net one. Net one. Slip one stitch purlwise with yarn in back. And now comes the repeat. Net three. Slip one stitch purlwise with yarn in back. And repeat. Net three. Slip one purlwise. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left. And end the row with knit one and knit the last one. Row six. Knit one and purl one. And now comes the repeat. Slip one stitch purlwise with yarn in front, purl three. And repeat. Slip one purlwise, purl three. Keep repeating if you have more stitches until there are only three stitches left. And end the row with slip one purlwise, purl one, and knit the last one. Row seven. Knit one, and now comes the repeat. Purl one, knit one, and repeat. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one, and repeat until there is, sorry, until there are two stitches left. And end the row with purl one, knit one. Eighth and last row. Knit one. And purl across the row. Purl every stitch. until there is just one stitch left and end the row with net one. And that's it. These eight rows will be repeated until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off net wise after a row eight. I think you need to need at least 24 rows to see the whole pattern. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy knitting!